lecture review for chapter 15, Scalp Care, Shampooing and Conditioning. The shampoo service en encompasses three different processes, taking care of the scalp with massage and also shampooing and conditioning. You can, it can and should be a soothing, pleasurable experience that sets the mood for the entire visit. It's an opportunity for you to provide the client with quality relaxation time that is free from the stresses of their day. It's nurturing and when well done, adds great benefits to the hair for your styling. The two basic requirements for healthy scalp are cleanliness and stimulation. The massage is a method of manipulating the scalp by rubbing, tapping, kneading, or stroking it with the hands. Before performing a shampoo service that includes a scalp massage, make sure that you complete a client intake or health screening form. And during the consultation, discuss any contradictions for scalp massage with your client. Before the shampoo takes place, you should see what the condition of the scalp is. It should be given with a continuous, even motion once the massage starts during the shampoo and once the conditioner has been applied for relaxation. Relaxation versus treatment depends on the product that you use. Make sure to visit your scalp massage procedures in the Milady textbook. There are normal hair and scalp treatments that their purpose is to maintain the scalp and keep the hair in a clean and healthy condition. You want to perform treatment only after the full hair and scalp examination. Dry hair and scalp treatment is used when natural oil is deficient. You use the treatment products that contain moisturizing and emollient ingredients. You want to avoid strong soaps, greasy preparations, lotions with high alcohol content, and you want to use a scalp steamer. If the hair is oily, it can be caused by overactive sebaceous glands, and the purpose of treatment is to reduce any hardened sebum that has been collected in the pores of the scalp. If you have a client that has dandruff, it's caused by a fungus called Malaysian. The purpose of the treatment is to suppress the growth of Malaysian and soften the scales that are on the scalp. You want to learn the benefits of properly brushing the hair. Correct brushing stimulates the blood circulation of the scalp. It helps remove dust, dirt, and build on build up product of hairspray and it gives added shine. But you won't avoid hair brushing if the scalp is irritated. You don't brush before a chemical service or prior to or after a hair color procedure, prior to or after bleach, lightening, or highlighting services. At this time, the chemicals used in these processes have made the scalp very sensitive. There are different types of hairbrush on the market today. Our natural bristles are the most highly recommended to clean and add luster to the hair. Nylon bristles are shiny, smooth, and more suitable for styling the hair. Make sure to look up and read your hairbrushing procedures located in the Milady textbook. The purpose of the shampoo service is to cleanse the hair and scalp prior to receiving a service providing a great canvas for styling and ongoing health care. During the scalp analysis, these are the things you are looking for. Is the scalp dry? Does it have dehydrated hair? Is there thinning of the hair, excessive hair in the sink, dry tight scalp, oily scalp, abnormal flaking on the scalp? Do you see open wounds or scalp irritations, scalp disorders or diseases? even ticks and lice infestation. Also look in your book for your basic shampoo and conditioning procedures. As a professional, you must become skilled at selecting the proper shampoo that supports the health of the hair, whether the hair is natural, color treated, fine or limp, coarse or wiry. If the hair type is dry, oily, normal, chemically treated, select the best shampoo. If 
for the hair condition if it's overprocessed, chemically treated, damaged by hard, harsh products, improper care, or exposure to the elements. And then tell your client and educate them on home maintenance. A lot of times our clients don't purchase shampoos from us, but they don't realize the damage they're doing to the hair by buying over-the-counter shampoos because they're not choosing the correct thing. The pH scale is potential hydrogen and the range is from 0 to 14 with 7 being neutral. 0 to 6.9 is acid, 7.1 to 14 is alkaline. Make sure that you choose the correct product so that you don't damage the hair. As far as the chemistry of water, purification is vitally important and this is obtained through sedimentation, filtration, chlorine being added, boiling water, and distillation. There is soft water, there is hard water, and one of the most important things is the water temperature. Make sure that you test the water on yourself before applying water to your client's scalp. Deionized water is one of the other types of waters that is used in the different salons according to where you live or where your client lives is going to be distinguish the type of water. Surfactant molecules are agents that are inside the shampoo and they have a hydrophilic N which is water loving and a lipophilic N which is oil loving. Different types of shampoos on the market are pH balanced, balancing, conditioning, strengthening, medicated, dry or powder, clarifying, sulfate free, shampoo for thinning hair, neutralizing, color enhancing, keratin proteins been added, and shampoo for hair pieces and wigs. Make sure that you talk with your clients with disabilities. Clients with disabilities are those who are wheelchair bound will usually tell you how they prefer to be shampooed. This is a comfort thing for them. The same goes for clients with other special needs. Always ask about their preference and make their comfort and their safety a priority. We can recommend and use conditioners to deposit protein and moisture, to restore strength and give body, to protect against breakage. Different types of conditioners are cleansing, rinse out, treatments and repairs, and leave-in conditioners. Silicone and moisture binding humectants, protein conditioners. There's also other different types of conditioning agents on the market, such as spray on thermal protectors that you spray on the hair prior to your irons, scalp conditioners, medicated scalp lotions, and scalp astringent lotions. We also have deep conditioning treatments. These are known as masks or, con or conditioning packs. Mixtures of concentrated protein in a heavy cream base of a moisturizer. It penetrates the cuticle layer and it's used when an, used when an equal degree of moisture and protein is needed and required. You want to make sure that you properly drape your client for services. Clients must be properly draped for each service. For a shampoo service, a wet draping, you will use two terry towels. One goes under the cape and one over the cape. Once the shampoo is complete, you want to replace with a neck strip or dry towel and a cape. If you're doing chemical draping, you have two terry towels used, one under the cape, one over the cape, which remains during the length of the service. Every cosmetology procedure has three different parts. You have your pre-service, which is the preparation. This is when you are actually talking with your client. You've disinfected, everything's been sanitized. You're ready and set up for the client to come in, plus the client consultation. Your service is where you're actually performing your services on the client. And the post-service is caring for your client after the service is completed and the cleanup. This is a great time for you to upsell and give your client information and education on what products are good for their hair. And to also rebook them to come back and see you. 
Cleanliness is the key to attractive hair. As a cosmetology professional, you will need to be able to analyze the types of hair and hair products to determine the best shampoo, conditioner, and or treatment for your client. Always follow the manufacturer's directions when you're using any product, including shampoos. Remember to always make the most effective use of the opportunity provided when you are shampooing a client. It's an opportunity for you to put the client at ease and make them feel comfortable about the services they are about to receive.